Look at what they did. They bowed down to all the starry hosts. I wonder about horoscope, brethren. They worship Baal, the fertility god of Canaan. They sacrifice their sons and daughters. I wonder if we are doing that too. When we allow TV and video and cable to bring up our children. They sacrifice their sons and daughters in the fire. They practice divination and sorcery. I wonder if we are doing that when we come to church and jump and praise the Lord. And go out and consult Obi Amen. They sold themselves to do evil in the eyes of the Lord, provoking him to anger. So the Lord was very angry with Israel and removed them from his presence. Only the tribe of Judah was left. And even Judah did not keep his command, the commands of the Lord their God. They followed the practices Israel had introduced. Therefore the Lord rejected all the people of Israel. He afflicted them and gave them into the hands of plunderers until he trusts them from his presence. Wow. Brethren, that is serious. Idolatry was a central problem. Idolatry is a supreme threat to faith in God. You might think that idolatry only speaks of people bowing down to physical objects made of wood and stone and only applies to people in far off pagan lands. But idolatry is much more than that. Yes, idolatry is using objects for religious devotion or for magical power. Yes, idolatry is taking something in creation and inflating it, blowing it up and allowing it to function as a substitute for God. Something that replaces God. Sometimes we look at people's obsession with certain things, preoccupation with certain things, whether it is work or sex or money. And we say that is idolatry. And it's very easy to see that. But we have to understand the nature of idolatry. It's much deeper than that. Because if we don't recognize our idolatry, we can't guard against it and we can't deal with it when it pops up into our own lives. 1 John 5 verse 21, John says, Two Christians flee idolatry. So, idolatry is not just statues and stuff. Paul in Ephesians 5 verse 5 and Colossians 3 verse 5 associates Things like greed, lust, cravings, coveting with idolatry. So there you see the spiritualization of idolatry, if you, if, you, if you don't mind. You see idolatry taking another form. It's not something physical anymore. But attitudes can become idols. Images. It can apply to people. People in your, in your life, friends can take the place of God in your life. Activities, a role or a position or prestige. Even an institution can become an idol. A hope that you have can be an idol. You know, it's very obvious that some people have idolized people. Young people, you know.